Let's get to our number one story this morning. A magnitude 4.7 earthquake hits near Malibu. No reports of any damage or injuries, but a rocky start to the morning. Assignment manager Mark Liu is live at the desk with the latest on this quake that was felt all over Southern California. Mark. Yeah, you're exactly right, Amy. We've got reports of people feeling this all the way from Santa Barbara down to San Diego and Bakersfield. Millions of people felt this quake, including us right here in the studio. Now, this camera you're looking through right now at me, we've set this up to record 24 hours a day, and it actually caught my reaction of feeling this earthquake this morning at 730. Take a look. Whoa, what was that? Look up. Oh, that's a major earthquake. That's a long one. That's got to be close, though. Yeah, it was close. It was based basically in the Horn of Malibu. Now, this is video from uh, explore.org of the Santa Monica Pier experiencing that earthquake. You can see the shaking on that camera. No damage to the pier. Really, Amy, as you said, no damage anywhere, thankfully. But our Seismocam also caught this uh, earthquake. You can see on all five sensors, Anaheim, Long Beach, Los Angeles, San Bernardino, and, and San Diego, all caught the waveform. And you can see here the Los Angeles and Long Beach waveforms are a little ahead of the others. That's because the epicenter was in Malibu, so those sensors caught it first. Now, SkyCal was actually looking at traffic at the 405 and the 10, and they caught this at Daniel Webster Middle School, uh, Middle School in Sawtell. This is an evacuation of the school minutes after the earthquake. This is per their protocol. All the students went out onto the field. No injuries here, no damage to the school, but everyone was out on the school, and then they went back into class and resumed class normally. Now, I'm going to bring you out to my screen and show you some data from the USGS. Let me zoom in here and show you this star in the middle of your screen. That's the epicenter described as being just to the north of Zuma Beach here. It's about um, three and a half miles deep and uh, hit at just after 728 magnitude 4.7. But this information is really interesting to me. All of these blue squares are self-reported incidents of people feeling it across Southern California. The light blue is light shaking. The darker blue and green here, heavier shaking. And it's uh, pretty obvious here in the middle of Malibu, those dark green squares indicated some pretty moderate shaking felt by people in the Horn of Malibu. But you can see these squares all the way up here in Bakersfield. Uh, people reported feeling it there all the way out in Indio and down in San Diego and Santa Barbara, all distant parts of Southern California here that people reported feeling shaking. Now, coming out back here live to me, I can tell you L.A. City Fire and L.A. County Fire, they went, it was called earthquake mode, where they checked their own stations and personnel, no damage or injuries there. Then they went out into their neighborhoods, didn't find any damage or injuries there either. The L.A. Metro rider system checked all the subways and trains. They're fine, too. They're proceeding normally, so it looks like this was just a big shaker in Southern California, but no injuries or damage. That is the very latest here from the desk. I'll send it back to you. Well, Mark, I really like the fact that we saw you getting that shake and immediately you turn to your computer and start doing the research. So it's a perfect example of what you do day in and day out as soon as you know about breaking news. That's the desk. Now you can get your KCAL news, weather and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.